yeah so hello guys again welcome back to my youtube channel today i am very happy because i'm going to address a question that has been asked to me a thousand times and you know most people who have reached out to me in the past few months uh, have been asking me do you think you can take a loan or can you buy a car on loan and put it into the uber business and it makes a business sense so in other words the question that is being asked here is whether you know it is advisable and not only advisable but does it make a business sense to take a loan and buy a car that you intend to put into the online platforms with an employed driver what i mean by that is that you as the car owner you will not be the principal driver you will hire someone to drive that car when you buy it and uh, you know, I always like basing my arguments on facts because I have been in this business for quite some time. I can give you facts on how much, uh, you know, a car can give you on monthly basis or on weekly basis when you employ a driver. So let us start from the baselines of the weekly income. So a fair price or a fair amount that most car owners have negotiated with drivers in the recent past is between uh, 8,000 and 9,000 Kenya shillings per month. So your driver at the end of the month will have given you between 32,000 and 40,000 per month. So that is the potential that that car has, you know, for a whole one month. But don't forget that that, let us work in this case, we will work with 35,000 as an average. So that 35,000, it is your gross income from your car on monthly basis. But, you know, a car is a moving machine. It has replaceable parts. It requires to be done services. It, you know, it has to go some repairs in case of uh, a damage. So you cannot count the 35,000 as your net income. So I always advise, you know, car owners or investors in this business to sometime consider putting aside between five to ten thousand per month so that you can take care of miscellaneous and you know sometimes this miscellaneous could be zero and could be a huge amount like fifty thousand if you are buying comprehensive car insurance for psv so but that in my view it is the f the highest amount you should set aside and uh, put in mind that that amount will not all be spent on spares and repairs. Sometimes it will end up being, being money that you have saved. But to be prudent, it is good to put it aside for any major, you know, uh, thing that arises. So if you put aside 10,000, it means that from the 35,000, you subtract 10K, uh, then you remain with 25,000 as your net income after having paid everything that needs to be paid for that car that means that if that car does not have an accident that will make it get packed you know into a garage for a whole month waiting for repair if it works as required the entire year your net savings or your net income will be 300,000 Kenya shillings in one year so if you do two years that car will have given you a net income of 600,000 but definitely your gross will be close to almost 1 million at the end of the two years but you don't want to count that because it is not the one you'll use to repay the loan in case you buy that car on loan that's why I, I am always focusing on your net income so let us now go back into the process of car purchasing you know I always tell people that if you are investing into the uber business if you have the opportunity to buy the smallest car possible, you know, please do that. Because uh, if your car does not exceed 1300cc, it belongs to the lowest category of the, you know, of the, 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 the taxi offering. So any car that is between 1300, it is be below 1300cc will attract the same fair amount or fair prices to any rider who requests for that car. So it doesn't matter whether your car is 1,000cc, 550cc, 600cc, the fare that will be paid by the customer is the same. So there is no need for you to go and buy our 
at, at 1300cc uh, Mazda Demio new shape at 1.3 million while you can go and buy a Suzuki Alto a Daihatsu Mila at around uh, 550,000, 650,000. You get my point because any customer who will request for a Demio will pay the same fair amount or fair price like the one who pay who request for suzuki alto so use your brain there and know that these customers who request for this uh uber chap chap and bolt light you know the lowest category and the cheapest they don't care so much about you know the comfort them they just want to get into their destination you know as long as you are a good driver you are driving carefully and your car is clean and presentable they don't care whether your car has enough space or not, whether your car is the new shape or not. You know, them, they just want to get safe into the destination. If someone is concerned about comfort, they will then go into the Uber X or Uber XL, the higher categories that are a bit pricey. Like they, are, they attract a bit slightly more fair compared to the lower category. So for you, buy the smallest. So back to the essential. When you go to buy a car, and in this case, I, I like talking about the small cars because those are the ones that make more business sense when it comes into investing in this business. And I will explain to you why. Because we have seen that, you know, your net profit from two years is 600000 So this means that if you take a loan, you can commit to pay 25000 per month. And within two years, you will have paid a principal of 600000 So if... You take a car that will cost, let's say, 550000 or 600000 You are guaranteed that at the end of the two years, you will have paid the full amount if you had not put any deposit. You know, in most cases, if you are buying a car on loan, you will not be given 100% financing. Maybe you will have deposited, let's say, 400000 and you request, a, you know, a top-up of two hundred k to get to six hundred. Other people will deposit to 150000 and then they request a top-up of 450000 So you see, the maximum you will take if you are financed 100%, 100%, it will take you two years to pay if you buy a car worth 600000 with a commitment of 25k repayment per month. On this other hand, if someone goes and buy um, a Mazda Demio new shape, $1.3 million, you know, the amount that your driver will be giving you per week actually can even be less because this car is 1300 cc it is consuming more petrol than a uh, 650 cc suzuki alto so the driver will always be complaining and his tendency will be let me give you 1000 per per week instead of 1500 so it is a disadvantage to you in as much as the end customer will enjoy the comfort it is a disadvantage to you and then see how much time it will take you to repay that car okay and shortly i will be talking about the lifetime of a car when used on uber full time so be careful on that and you know just just look at the essential and see what matters for your business so you don't need to buy a car that is expensive take a car that you know after you do those maths i have given you are able to clear that loan within two years on this other hand you know the lifetime of a of a car that is used on uber business full time and this is with the assumption that there will be no any accident because you know when cars are on the road definitely there are those that are subject to minor accident and to major accidents that can lead to write-off in absence of any major accident a car is a very very strong machine and it can serve you for so so many years if you service it you know and give it the due attention and care that it requires so on average i want to give you about five to six years of lifetime with that car if well taken care of and evidence is that you know if you go five years back and this can be well traced using number plates okay so you will see a lot of you know kcws you know kcp kcus those are cars or number plates that were launched into the market between you know from 2018 2019 some you know can go back into 2017 those cars you still see them driving around 
and you know some of them are in very very good shape from outside because of course you can do some paint retouch but others you know are long gone if we are, they were involved in accidents so for me that's a business that you shouldn't fear so much because if you repay your loan in two years then you have another four years for that car to continue you know you have two years to break even then you have four years of you know just net income and enjoying the profits so think about it you don't have to be you know don't fear loan so much just have a good and practical repayment plan that i have explained and then ensure you get a good driver if you need any help with regard on of how to get a good driver who can take good care of your car reach out to me we can have a conversation so if you want to reach out to me please drop me a comment you know in the comment section then i will respond to you with my contact details and we can take the conversation further so enjoy you guys the investment if you need any advice i'm here to help you so that you know kama vijana tuinuane okay thank you guys and subscribe and see you shortly bye